What is up, internet? My name is Silver, and welcome back to Borderlands 3. That's the wrong emote I was going for. You know, I totally forgot that these are a thing. Uh, wh what else do I have? Wave, there we go, that's it. Anyways, guys, just a little quick video here. I would just like to say, first of all, thank you so much for the response to the last video. That's quite a lot of views for just a silly little Borderlands video, and I do very much appreciate it. So in response to that, I just want to show you guys this really quick little farm that I have just found. Shout out to this dude on YouTube who gave me this idea. I'm sorry, sir, I'm just going to quickly look up his video. Oh my goodness gracious me, uh, Killer6 is his name, check him out because it was, this was his idea that I've completely decided to make a video on myself. Anyways, in the time that I have been farming these dudes, I have gotten this, the Hellwalker, with an anointment on it, which is pretty good. Um, it's a pretty average shotgun, it's a, it's a reference to Doom, when you pick it up there's the Doom guitar and it has the Doom guitar sounds when you fire it. I also got the TK's Wave with another good anointment on it, oh my goodness gracious me. I got the Health Rerouter, I got this class mod, which is what I was looking for. It's fun when you find things that you weren't exactly looking for. I was just after class mods. I got this thing, the Shocking AA, which is a really cool pistol. It's got a blade on it, and it's super dope. Let me just equip that real quick, because this thing's... I'm quite proud of that. It's really cool. And, um, yeah, this is a really good little little farm, guys. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come to Promethea. Where's my freaking map? The, uh, the Atlas HQ on Promethea. So you spawn in here or whatever, you're gonna come up these stairs, and you're gonna go in this direction. This is a super easy farm, and apparently it's very rewarding, because there is also two chests around this area, and I was able to find a few legendaries in these chests. Not very good ones, but you know, legendaries nonetheless. Nothing this time. So you see this pillar right here? You're gonna run along here, come out to this pillar, and this allows you to just immediately whoop, jump up here, and it's super easy. So we're going to be farming the Power Rangers. I believe they're a Power Rangers reference or something. They're all called the Rangers. And uh, there's the second chest here. I'm going to get that. Nothing. So these dudes all jump down. And you more often than not have to fight them all at once. But they aren't that strong. And if you're an awesome crazy siren like me with this relic that's nuts. You can do a shit ton of fire damage to them. And they die. Ha 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 ha. So you can see the shocking AAA, it fires a burst, and it does something? Is this firing a lightning bolt pattern? I think this is firing in a lightning bolt pattern. Hold on a second. Huh, <laughs> well, maybe not, I don't know. Anyways, you're gonna- okay, I'm- I'm dead. But don't worry, I have an awesome siren skill that gives me a free act second wind. Ah, <laughs> screw you, dude. Okay, so I've been farming these guys for quite a while, and you might notice that they didn't drop anything good, but that's the whole point of it. You have to farm them quite a bit to get good stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's the whole farm. You just kill those Power Ranger dudes, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going and see if I can get something cool to drop. Run number dos. So this week is, uh, Borderlands. They're doing this whole anniversary week or something. Each week is gonna have a different event going on. Ooh, an anointment. Nice. So last week it was, um... What was it? Just bosses drop just more stuff in general, and it was like increased loot drops, but this week, it's unique bosses dropping good stuff. So these enemies d will not always spawn here, they are a rare spawn. Rare spawn bosses, that's what it's called. So yeah, these dudes will not spawn here all the time, but with this current weekly event thing, they will spawn here 100% of the time, and they have a higher chance to drop good stuff. So go out there and look for unique enemies. I'm gonna die again. Oh my god, E equals MC squared. Oh, I don't have grenades. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, well, just continue murdering these dudes. I think the pink one is healing them. How dare you. You may notice my face puncher. This thing is nuts as well. This is a Hyperion shotgun. Its bullets deal melee damage. So my ridiculous relic that does a lot of fire damage is being applied after I shoot them. Which is super handy. Uh, this is a pretty good combo. You shoot with the gun and then melee, and you get a lot of damage out that way. Oh, you think you have me beat, you fools. You fools. I might die. Mm. Come on. Yay. You can see the dot on this relic. Maybe I'll show you guys how to get this relic, too, because it's freaking nuts. It's freaking nuts. Not just uh, Amara can make use of this good relic if you have a face puncher as well. 
that can also work because the melee damage is nuts. Uh, this is probably the worst run I have done. TBH, I'm going to die. Wow. Wow. Run number four, I think. it's uh, It's been quite a few. Garbage. Yep. Despacito. This is how we do it in Puerto Rico. Oh no, I died. Screw you, dude. Zing! Yes, I am using phase cast. I don't know why. My current skill tree is a mess right now. That's why I was after a class mod. Supposedly these guys are the best source of farming a class mod, but I ended up getting all those other legendaries and only one class mod, so, you know, whatever. I expect you to die, Red Trooper. Ah, nothing good. Aw, oh, shucks. All right, I'm gonna keep going until I get a legendary or something, jeez. All right, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I forgot how many runs I've done. <laughs> I think this is number eight. Oh dear, not counting all the runs I did before I started recording. Yee. If you are looking to farm legendary class mods, good luck, because I have done, blah, I don't know, at least 15 and I've gotten one legendary class mod, so big yikes. I mean, I got heaps of other loot. That's a bonus, right? Zzzz. Screw you, dudes. Yes, fly around like fools. Ha, 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 ha. I will punch your faces. Nothing. Shucks. Hey, run number, geez, I don't know. This must be at least run number 20. But unfortunately for me, it's not a Siren class mod. It is for Zane. But we finally got a legendary drop. A the Bashing Spirited Infiltrator. My Zane is level 14, so not gonna lie, I have no idea what this does. Zane's weapon damage and movement speed are increased, the lower his shield, the greater the bonus. Neat. Well, I finally got a legendary. Nice. Um, so yeah guys, the overall verdict, I think, is if you're looking for class mods, specifically class mods like I was, you're probably better off just doing regular old Grave Ward. I mean, that was a lot of runs to get two legendary class mods. Granted, I did get quite a lot of other loot, but um, you know. Oh well, would you look at that, I have another Zane class mod. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, as a little bonus for the end of this episode, I'm going to show you where I got this crazy relic called Unleash the Dragon. This gives you melee ignite chance, slide ignite chance, and ground slam ignite chance. I personally don't use the slide or ground slam at all, now that I think of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally... They added all this mobility in Borderlands 3, and I'm just hardwired to Borderlands 2, where you have none of it. But um, yeah, it's a really good relic, and it makes you do a corrupt ton of fire damage, so I'm going to show you guys where to get it. Let's go to Eden 6. Come over to Eden 6, the jungle planet with dinosaurs, and come to Jacob's estate, and you're gonna wanna go down here, and the boss we're looking for, dun 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 dun, I believe spawns around about here. Set, set waypoint? No? Okay, well, whatever. All right, gamers, after spawning into Eden 6, follow this way past Merle, and you're gonna wanna dodge all these crazy cultists. I'm gonna come in this direction to this waterfall. And the dude we're gonna be farming today is El Dragon, or the Sun. El Dragon Jr. This is, of course, a reference to Battleborn, a game that I really did like a lot, and I am super sad that it does not exist anymore. Feels bad. This dude is incredibly vocal. He does he does like to scream. Oh, he does like his screaming. That's the thing about Borderlands 3, like if I had any nitpick about the game, it's the voice acting uh, with elemental damage. Like, I don't know why they decided to just make everyone scream their absolute hearts out when they're under elemental effects, but my god, like people just scream like crazy. Listen to this guy. He's not having a good time. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, but it's just a little bit irritating sometimes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, anyways, guys, that was where you get the thing from El Dragon Jr. at this waterfall. Right about here. He'll drop it eventually. I got it on, like, my second run. He is a lot more forgiving than those dudes we were just farming. But yeah, it's a very good relic. 
And like I was saying, you don't have to be a Mar to make use of it. Just get yourself a face puncher shotgun, which does melee damage. I actually don't know where this drops. I'm sorry. Good luck finding one. But um, yes, it's very good. And it works with this relic. Alrighty then, everybody. I managed to get a decent class mod. Yeah, that's that's in the Brawl skill tree, which is what I was going for. And that's pretty nice. Alrighty then, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this quick little guide. And go get yourself some cool class mods and or relics. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!